so let's play Undertale. Um, let's go this way. I have no idea where I'm going. I went somewhere and I pressed a button. I, press, I pressed that button, good. Hi, astigmatism. Uh, I, I see what they did there. Not picking on you. I thought this guy didn't like being picked on. That's right. I like the I like the background music of this. This thing is awesome. Wow, I just literally just had. I kind of feel like I should have more items. Hi. Oh, god dang. Hi, uh, yeah, there you are, darling. It's time to have a little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Malfunction, reprogram, it, get real. It's all just a big show, an act. Hoppy's been playing you for a fool the whole time. She watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into your story. She activated puzzles, she disabled elevators, she enlisted me to torment you. Also, she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. Also, you'd think she's the great person, and she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. Very moment, Hoppy's waiting outside this room. In our battle, she'll interrupt. She'll pretend to deactivate me, saving you a final time. Finally, she'll be the her heroine of your adventure. You regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm human. Far from it, actually. I'm. I wonder if this is true. It all does make a degree of sense. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? What's a good show without a plot twist? Uh, hey, what's going on? The door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been canceled. We got a finale that'll drive you wild. Feel like I should have gotten some items. Real drama, real action, real bloodshed. On our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. Yep, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would have been 100 times better? Killing you myself. That one of those fish here won't work on me, darling. This is probably what you'll do if things continue in this manner. This is I've seen you fight. You're weak. Continue forward, Asko will take your soul. But with your soul, Asko will destroy humanity. Interesting. If I get you so I can stop Asgore's plan, I can save humanity from destruction. Oh, I, I didn't quite understand what was going on. Then using your soul to cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, no, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. Yeah, I have no items <laughs> at all. Glitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So a few people have to die. That's show business, baby. Th there's one last way to beat Metaton. It's, um, it's... It was a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always faces forward? As soon as they're switching his backside. So if you can turn him around, um, press the switch, he'll be, uh, vulnerable? Well, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, a mirror? Right on, it looks perfect for a grand finale. I don't see it. Where is it? Did you just flip my switch?
That's entirely too easy, frankly. Oh god. Oh my. If you flip the switch, they only mean one thing. You're desperate for that premiere for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments absolutely beautiful. Lights, camera, action. I did not understand what was going on there. So, go back and get some freaking um, health. I kind of expected to run to a store before our big major battles and bamboozle battles. What's this? I'm confused. Oh, this just elevated me back to here, because if that's the case... Can I just buy things here? That's the overpriced section, isn't it? I feel like probably. Because there's the adorable kitties over here. Okay, only one of them is kitty. So this increases my health. And 17 for these. Alright, so free of that stuff and go ahead and put on a cowboy hat. That also increases my attack, but I'll never actually use my attack, so that does not matter at all. All right. I, I, I'm really glad that you can do that. It bows dramatically. The audience nods. Lights, camera, action. Wow, that's, this is difficult. Let me hurt you, pose dramatically. Thanks, applause. Whew. I'm the idol everyone could. That's interesting. <laughs> Time for a pop quiz. Hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. I I don't. I, I, I was not prepared. Yeah, 
Yes, I will show everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Ah! Fry. How's this go on? Oh god, I did not expect that. But how are you on the dance floor? I I don't understand. Like what the hell was that? I see now. Oh, I got hit. I didn't think I did. Dang, look at him go. We're going through distance, gentlemen. I have another heart to heart. I knocked his arms off? Ah, uh, it needs them with legs like these. They're gonna win. That was almost impossible. It's a little annoying, but a really interesting as well that the junk food works against you. I didn't even think about that. I think I can do it now that I know how the different mechanics work. I do hate that I waste my money on junk food, but I don't think I can get rid of it. Question. We know what's the other side. There we go. Oh my, what a great answer. I 
<laughs> Doesn't even show it in your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Bam! Audience, come on! Come at me! Uh -huh, I'm just warming up. All right. But how are you on the dance floor? I'm doing just fine, sir. Smells like Metaton. Can you give up the pace? I forgot that moving was bad, because I'm smart. Lights, camera, bombs! Okay, I couldn't remember if I could do that. Things are blowing up! There we go! Oh, it actually hit me? I think it did. Time for a union regulated break. The crumbs are distant, darling. I don't know heart to heart. Apparently, the armor's falling off has nothing to do with me. Uh-uh, who needs those legs like these? Still gonna win. Oh my god, I hate this section. Show must go on. Enough of it. Do you really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? <laughs> How inspiring. Well, darling, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's gonna win. Which is the true power of humanity's star. Humanity's true star. Then, are you the star? Can you really protect humanity? I like don't want to shoot it. I may have to, because it's going off for once in a while. Well, 
Well, that's your power. You pose dramatically. The audience screams. <laughs> Look at those ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We reached the viewer call-in milestone. A lucky viewer have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Alfie's. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Uh, oh. Hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My, my life is pretty boring, but... Seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life. If I can't... What audience member knows the word vicariously? I can't tell, but... I guess this is the last episode? I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. No, wait, wait, wait. Bull. Oh, they already hung up. Bull? Who is Bull? I'll take another caller. That's not your showman is happy. Metaton, I didn't know I want what I watch without you. <laughs> Metaton, there's a Metaton shaped hole in my Metaton shaped heart. I, I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters? Well, they've only got me. If I left, the underground would lose its sparkle. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, you have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Ascor. I'm sure be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. Truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. A few moments I'll run out of battery power. And, uh, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. Do I have to repair Metaton? You've been a great audience. <laughs> Are you two? Oh my god! Metaton! Metaton, are you. Oh, thank god. It's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have. I would have. I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always. Just b build another. Why don't you go on ahead? Oh, poor Alfie's. Oh, I can't go back. Kinda need more healing items. TBQH. I hope I didn't... Okay, experience is still zero, so I, I was like, I hope I didn't kill him. And so they always said you get experience for killing monsters. And I'm just, I'm, I'm concerned because I did shoot his heart at the, like, because of that last phase that wasn't ending. S sorry about that. But let's keep, keep going. Oh, he won't let me, or she, I keep saying he, she won't let me go back. So, you're about to meet a Asgore, huh? You must be... You must be... Pretty excited about all that. You'll f finally... You'll finally get to go home. <sighs> Wait. I mean, uh... I... Just gonna, um... Say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. I lied to you. Human souls are strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you have to take his soul. You have to kill Asgore. But everyone loves Asgore. Sorry. Like, I don't really know much about Asgore, but I know I don't really want to kill him. 
And that's a really, really, really interesting problem to have, frankly. Because at the end of days, um, I have... <laughs> Here's the interesting thing about this game. According to the intro movie, I just kind of went up a mountain I wasn't supposed to and no one had to come back from and fell down here. So it's not like I was abducted. It's not like the reason I'm in this situation is because the monsters robbed me or anything. Um, I went to somewhere and it's, it's I, I really feel like I would have a difficult time um, killing any of the monsters just to go back home. Because at the end of the day, I'm in this situation because of my own stupidity. It's right one. That shouldn't be right either, though. No, because that's the lab. Is it left one? For some reason this feels wrong, but actually I do think it's correct. Riding in the boat. Going back to Snowden. Yeah, I know about Timmy Village. I already know. All right. So we'll run back here, grab this. And then right down here, there's a lovely shop. Because I do find the... These bicycles... To be the best value, although not by very much, frankly. Man, I am, I am almost out of monies. I'm very close to done with the money thing. Alright, and the other thing I need to do, someone did kind of remind me about this. Uh, apparently at some point a while ago, um, Papyrus said that they would be at um, Papyrus said they would be at uh, Undyne's house. But the thing is, and I, whenever that happened, I was like, okay, well, when I find Undyne's house, then I should do that. Um, but then someone was like, why aren't you going to Undyne's house? And I, and I kind of thought to myself, I'm like, well, because I don't know where it is. However, th when they said that, I was like, wait a minute, didn't we actually find Undyne's house when she was still hunting us? Isn't it? Yep, right here. I thought so. Is that... Is that this thing that's making that noise? No. Okay, that's just Undyne's house music, apparently. I would completely forgotten this was here. Completely forgotten this was here. But someone in comments... It's good they didn't tell me, hey, go back and do this. Or I probably would have been like, hey, F you. It's in the blind run. I'll do what I want. But I just legit forgot this house was here and that it was Undyne's. Aha! The human arrives! I ready to hang out with Undyne? I got a plan to make the two of you great friends. All right, stand behind me. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Wow, she well, she's certainly not wearing what I expected her to be wearing. <laughs> Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? <laughs> That's Undyne's house. Let's go there and hang out someday. 
God damn it, Papyrus. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so are we ready to start? Oops, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> So, why are you here? Drop your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Uh, no. Did, why- Papyrus asked me to come. Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Sure, I'm friends with everybody. Really? How delightful. I accept. That's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and Why? I, now that's an interesting statement. Why am I the enemy of everyone's hopes? I, I get that they want to steal my soul so they can go back, but like they have to they have to understand that that is them putting the entire society's values ahead of my life, which I will be the first to say is not inherently wrong, is not inherently flawed premise. You know, I'm sorry, but an entire society does come before one person. You know, it's it's not moral, but it can be it, – it's one of those things where it's like morally killing for your own benefit is wrong no matter what. But if you had a situation – if it comes back to that whole situation of you know, if, if there's a, you know, terrorist sister or a terrorist mom and – she knows the location of a bomb that will kill thousands of people, but she won't tell it to you. Is torture justified? And the answer is justified, no, but rational, rationalizable, yes. There are reasons to do it in that case. They, they aren't morally good reasons, but they at least – you can do it without being an evil person. At least that's how I view it. And this kind of – you know, I understand why Undyne wants my soul because it means the monsters can get out of their effective prison. But I don't understand why she's blaming me for their situation, because I didn't do it. Now get out of my house. Hey, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. <laughs> God damn it, Papyrus. Papyrus, wait a second. D darn it. I I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. Make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. One time, Alfie's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. I admire his lifestyle. Sing as a teacup in the shape of a fish. God damn it! Oven top of the line MTT thing, but you know, as much technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. <laughs> I hate cold food. So Alfie's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, it's the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history. Kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wield swords up to ten times their size. <laughs> you liar. I've read Alfie's human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords. Your colossal alien fighting robots. Your supernatural princesses. There's no way you're gonna fool me. Okay, I like this theme song. You wanna see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Uh, maybe some nerds.
comfortable. I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why don't you just point to what you want? You can use the spear. <laughs> Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Soda, single yellow liquid. Sugar goes in tea. Are you kidding on me? Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. A chocolate! Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. The container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard! That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Human ice cream and terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs prelude to destruction? Okay, this game is adorable. Uh, yeah, kinda. What? Really? That rules! A soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It robs your fighting spirit. Why do I have it? Tea, huh? Coming right up. Take a moment for the water. I thought it was coming from the hot fridge. <laughs> hey, how did you do that? I was watching the pot. I'm surprised it's not sliding. Careful, it's hot. It's not that. Just drink it already. Oh, awesome. Good job, Undyne. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that. Oh, I really tried not to. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of... Really? Asgore's an adorable human that beats you in battle? You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. <laughs> Emphasis on tried? I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Oh, did he actually put you in instead of the nice, instead of, like, pity? Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I could ever let Papyrus in the world... He is kind of special. Don't tell him I said that. He just... well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up becoming friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He got ripped into little smiling shreds. And that's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. I really like how 
like barely deep the character. I mean, it's like they, they don't have huge character arcs. They don't have, they don't have, but th they just have this like well of personality beneath them that comes out through the game. Oh, so I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a sec. Papyrus. This cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! If he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, you'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Afraid? We'll be best friends. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with their fists. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn! Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. I love that our picture changes to have the like... But for now... Oh yeah, the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brands. They're the cheapest. Just put them in a pot. Fiercely. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. Your rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Present Z Hall is hard. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. The stove stuff symbolizes your passion. As your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Let me fool. This burner only goes one way. This is how you... Ah... Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way, but frankly, I've actually really enjoyed this session. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out, both sides. It's the only way I can regain my Kolos pride. Come on, hit me with all you've got. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid Sakar Sakarin shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it it reminded me of someone I used to train with. And now I know you're not just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a really big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems you and Asgar are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, 
if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. If you need me, drop by Snowden, alright? Oh, if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, alright? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Alright. Well, that was certainly interesting and unexpected. We'll go ahead and save here, and next time, I presumably go on towards Asgore. Look forward to it, guys.